dear students in this video we are going to discuss about designing various topologies using this cisco packet tracer so already we complete our bus topology and ring topology and today we are going to discuss about the third type it's called star topology here again the simple idea began the star topology the word itself we can understand what is star topology it's look like a star the network structure what we are creating it's look like as it is star in this diagram so here totally i used six computers and the ip address i said for each pc it's again start from 192.168.1.1 1.2 3 4 5 6 so you know very well how to set that ip address just you click on the pc and go to desktop select ip configuration so here i uh, click on computer 6 the ip address is it's 192.168.1.6 i type it here and subdet mosk it comes automatically right the same way you have to set the ip address for all the pc now it's coming to the technical part of star topology here all the nodes or all the computer which is connected with the central hub or central switch so here in the ring topology each node is connected with the the individual switch or individual repeater now it's compared to the ring topology here in star topology all the computer it's depend on only one switch or the hub we can place it hub over here so as we already discussed the difference between hub and switch hub it transmit the data to all the nodes and switch it reads the mac address of your destination node and transmit the data to only the respective computer so that's the major difference between switch and hub here we can place it either switch or hub in the star topology so when we are using star topology all the nodes it's connected with central hub or switch that's the first point and it's coming to the the major advantages of star topology when we are using n number of the devices we have to use n number of cables that's the important part here i used to six computer so six cables i used to connect with the central hub the computer 1 i need to connect the separate cable computer 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> so number of the nodes what we are using which is equal to number of cables and the next one here when we are using number of nodes as well as number of cables but we have to use only one the connecting device or the central hub number of node is equal to number of cables is equal to only one central hub we have to use and coming to the, the problem of star topology so simply we can understand that if i try to send the data from computer 1 to 2 1 2 3 1 2 4 whenever we send the data from any node 
that star topology depends on only the central hub. We have no other way to transmit the data. So the cable is deformed. Okay, the path is deformed. But if any of the node try to send the data, definitely the data first it reaches to the central hub, then it move on to the the respective node. In case if the central hub is failed, it's unable to transmit the data. What will happen? The entire network will collapse, and we cannot transmit any data in that network. So this is the backbone. This is the heart of the the star topology. So we can easily transmit the data. That's one of the advantage. So for example, computer one try to send the data to computer four. It's in straight way. Just you reach the switch and it come to computer four. And even any of the places we can easily transmit the data. That's the advantage. But it's coming to the disadvantage. If the central hub is failed to transmit the data, we cannot do anything. So the entire six node cannot transmit any data. That's the important part here. So when the same thing we are consider for in ring topology, for example, node one try to send the data to node three, we have two path we can transmit the data. If any of the path is failed, definitely choose the another path and we can get the data. But here there is no other options. We have only one option to depend on the central hub to transmit the data. And how can we measure the the performance of the star topology? So the performance it's only based on the central hub. How fast the central hub is working? Based on the performance, it will be measured. So the performance of the star topology it's always depend on the central switch or hub. Now, Now I will I show, show you how the data, data is transformed. Here, just, just I am going to place the message from computer one to computer four. So it shows that in progress. Okay, the connection is successful. And I am going to place one more message from computer six to computer three. And the third message is computer five to computer four. Okay, now we will check how the data is transformed. All the three messages is transformed, and so immediately it. Okay, here it shows that that first message is successful now. It taking some time. Okay, just I delete that all the messages. I will give only one message. It's you can easily understand. So computer six to computer three. Okay. Now, Now computer three send the acknowledgement to switch. Okay. Now, Now it's successful. successful. If, If I, I try, try to send, send the data, data for example, computer one to computer three. So sometimes, so sometimes it's, it's replicating, replicating the messages, messages to all the nodes. So, so the reason is already uh, we, we send, send the data, data to computer six to computer three. So, so that's, that's the uh, the event. event. It's, it's repeating. repeating. That's, that's one of the reason. reason. It's replicating the messages to all the nodes. So, so first, first we placing that message from computer six to three. It immediately transmit the data. So, so that, that event is over. Then I place the second message from computer one, two, three. 
and the same time the previous event is also executing that's the reason it's replicating to all the remaining nodes okay now compared to the, the next important part of star topology here it's compared to that either bus topology or ring topology the data transmission time is very less in star topology so the reason is immediately it reaches to central hub and it move on to the the respective destination node either for example bus topology or ring topology it takes long time to reach the data or reach the node but in star topology the time to transmit the data from source to destination is very less it's compared to the other topology so that's one of the major advantage so the same thing you can check it uh, using the ping command and you compare with for example ring topology and star topology so what's the time taken in the ring topology as well as you compare with star topology star topology is always a less time to transmit the data so i hope this information is useful to you thanks for watching